I wanted to quickly talk about function interfaces, a concept that I actually did not know existed and that I never used because I could never commit it to memory correctly. So we're now already used to regular interfaces to declare, let's say, what a user model should look like. But what you can also do is declare function interfaces, meaning what a function should look like. The only downside of this that I've ever seen is that you can only apply these interfaces to functions that you're saving in a variable. Let me show you what I mean. So let's say we have an interface and the interface is going to be resource getter. And then we want to declare the function call. Now remember, the function call looks something like this. with the most important parts being that you can declare a function, uh, the argument types for, I, for an ID, we want a number, for a resource type, we want a string, and for the return type, we want a Boolean. The squiggly lines just means that the function is currently not returning, returning anything, which is a problem. If we want to make this interface um, mirror the function signature here, we do it like so. ID number, resource type, string, and return boolean. This interface now describes a function with the same exact type signature as the one we had just written. Let's say we have a user getter resource. And it's going to be a function of some kind. Then we later get to get a user. I'm going to change the, the function signature a little bit because if we have specific getters, we don't actually need the resource type. And this is probably how we would use that function. TypeScript already lets us know that, hey, we're expecting zero arguments and we got one. Maybe we should make sure that the user getter follows this interface. It's pretty easy. And that's it. Now we just need to write, make sure that the function works the same way. We don't have to ex we don't have to declare the types here anymore because we're telling the we're because we're telling TypeScript that the typing will mirror the interface over here. Great. Now we know if the user the resource exists or not. But if you remember from my previous video about function typing. What we actually liked to do was be able to specify the return type ahead of time for get resource. So let's say we expect a, a user back in this situation. A user will have an ID, that's a number, and a name, it's a string. So how do we make this resource getter generic and be able to use the re user as the return type in this specific case? Well, angle, angle brackets go here, and the type variable goes here. In our previous video about function typing, uh, TypeScript tried to infer what the type of U will be and put it in a bunch of different places. In this case, it can't because there's no function to work off of. Let's go ahead and pass in that user. We still get squiggly lines because we're returning true, but we should be returning a user. Since we're not actually writing any logic, I'm just going to go ahead and make every username John with the ID that's passed in. We get no errors. That's great. So this is how you can use function interfaces. I've yet to figure out how we can declare um, interfaces on regular functions because I think that would be pretty powerful to be able to say, hey, let's get resource function over here should follow the signature of the resource getter. But I'm not sure how to do that yet. So for now, we can use this method.